I remember one time in beauty school, I did this woman's hair for her wedding, and she came in a few weeks later and she had her hair done for something else. And I was like, how was your wedding? She's like, my husband's sister started talking shit, so I fucked her up, <laughs> I kicked her ass, and you know, we went at it for a few minutes, and my hair didn't go anywhere. And that's how I knew I was meant to be a hairdresser. <laughs> that was it. I'm Tony Medina, and I'm Hollywood's go-to boy for retro glamour. Today, one of my friends is coming over and I'm gonna give their hair his vintage touch. Today, we have YouTube sensation and mukbang queen, Chunky, also known as Chunky, but Funky. Hey. Hey, <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here. I'm so excited to be here. So what is mukbang for those who may not know? Mukbang is you just eat a ton of food like in front of the camera you just you just go in when me and my family get together we just it's all about the food and it's all about the cheese man like we're just talking yes. and we're like oh yeah so you know what so-and-so did no and we're eating and that's what i'm doing like in front of the camera so it's like really comfortable for me to just like eat and talk to everybody yeah so it's kind of like you're almost keeping the audience company maybe eating with you right yeah do you have any like maybe like style icons or maybe like any vintage inspirations that you like look to when you glam Definitely Priscilla Presley. I love her. I love her big hair, her eyebrows, and her eyeliner. I love that. Okay. You like to make a statement with your glamour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm going to kind of work off of that today, and I think we're really going to give you a really great look. I, I trust you. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like kind of naked. Why? Because your extensions aren't in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so first, I'm just going to brush through your hair, and I'm going to start it with the pink curl set, which is what I start every style with, okay? Okay. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> So I'm just sectioning off some hair at the bottom to get ready for your set. I like to get the hot iron as hot as I can. I realize there's like some people's hair that can't take the heat, which is fine, you know, maybe it's over processed, maybe you got three hairs, you know, that's great. But if you have the hair, like you Latinas, you guys got this hair. So I like to get it nice and hot and just let the heat do all the work and really manipulate the curl. What's your favorite food to eat on camera? I love crunchy food. People love when I eat onion rings. There's this kind of like satisfaction satisfaction yeah. of like hearing especially me like when like you know I'm like a chubby boy like a Latino so you know I start about five diets a year <laughs> like you know I'm like oh I want to watch her eat something like delicious and crunchy <laughs> and like I almost like feel it like if it was me so you'll probably feel me causing a little tension in the back and what if what I'm doing is getting a nice really tight curl and I wanna keep that curl, I don't want it to really fall out, so I'm pin curling it, especially with the vintage styles that I do. I definitely need a tight curl so that I can tease it out and manipulate it into different shapes and really sculpt it out. Do you ever get any like haters on your YouTube channel? Do I ever, all the time, <laughs> every day. <laughs> now, I'm not really used to getting haters. It's always like shocking to me. Like this one lady came on and I remember her to this day, her name was Delia. She, Delia. Uh, Delia, <laughs> and she wrote, El makeup is good. El penado, nah. <laughs> what? And I was like, did this bitch just tell me that the makeup's fierce and the fucking hair sucks? Oh my and God. I was dying. And yeah, and I was like, dang, you know, that's some mean ass hatred when you have to tell someone off in two languages. Because, <laughs> you know, those like vicious old Mexican ladies, they don't play. They'll tell you how it is. What I really like about it too is your glam. Like, you'll be straight beat. Like you'll be there with just like a cut crease, big eyeliner, like a lips, and you're just going in. You don't care if like five French fries is gonna mess up your lipstick or whatever. Well, I put that good lipstick on. It's okay. Not move. It's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> that liquid last. Yeah, and people are like so surprised about it. Like, how did your lipstick stay on? That's magic. Cause like, you go in. Yeah. Like you, you know, you're not trying to eat cute and be petite on there. Like you really give them your all. I'm not gonna act skinny cause I'm not skinny. So I'm not gonna, you know, no, I'm gonna go in. Chunky, are you hungry? Do you want a snack? Yes, my Vato has something for me. Okay, Vato, can you bring Chunky a snack? Mm, thank you, baby. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I need a Vato that brings me a snack. <laughs> Do you ever get chasers on your channel that have an interest in the thick life? Do you ever get those? Oh, yeah. What do they say? They come to my channel, they love a big, thick Latina. They always tell me, but my biggest chubby chaser is my vato. Yes. He loves me chubby. This should feel tight. You should feel a tug. I feel like the tighter it is around the wand, the more heat that's gonna get distributed through your hair. So I feel like if it's like loose, like if you feel like the hair is about to unwrap and fall off your wand, then you're not doing it right. I feel like you should kind of get a little bit of a pull. You should feel some tension. 
everything goes the same way. Everything goes the same direction. You're not gonna see me do something really weird to one pin curl that I didn't do to the other. And so now that I'm done pin curling your hair, what I wanna do is I wanna grab my favorite hairspray and I like to just kind of mist it. I can still feel some heat through your pin curl, so I wanna let all of the heat settle, and once the whole head is curled and cooled, that's how I'll know when we'll take it out. So this, all I'm doing is I'm just curling it the exact same way that I did the pin curls in your hair, but rather on your strip of extensions, and then we're just gonna blend them in after. So now I'm just gonna pull out all of your pin curls. They're nice and cool. They've been setting for a few minutes, and you'll be having a Shirley Temple moment. That's how we know it's happening. So what I want to do is I want to find your brow arch, okay? That's how I always know where it's appropriate to part the hair. We're gonna go, we're gonna line up to that arch and that's where we're gonna make our part. Wow. So now I'm just gonna kind of clip your hair to the side just to hold that part. And I'm gonna grab my paddle brush and I'm just gonna comb completely through. So this is kind of what it looks like when we first brush it out. You can start to see the waves kind of defining and it's kind of reminiscent of Rita Hayworth, which I love. So I'm just gonna grab a nice chunk from Chunky's hair, pin some on top, and I'm gonna tease. Grab a teasing comb and all you do is brush backwards. So I'm teasing the entire section of hair. After I tease it, I like to go to the root and I like to spray it a little down with my hairspray and kind of let that get nice and tacky and firm so that I can grab onto that teasing and you snap it. And that's how it's fight proof. Then you can pull it and it doesn't feel like it's coming out. What I'm gonna do to blend that extension into her hair is I'm gonna brush through it and I'm gonna back comb that a little bit. I'm gonna tease that a little bit too. What I do like to do is add one little extension right here to add kind of a volume to the wave. So right now we're getting to the part so what I wanna do is I wanna move the clip over so that the part doesn't start blending in with the rest of the hair. And I like to add some hairspray whenever I'm teasing the top so that way it holds really, really good. So what is it about Priscilla Presley that you love so much? What is it that inspires you? I love that her makeup was a statement. She wore the heck out of that eyeliner and she wore the heck out of that, that whole look. I totally agree. And she wasn't like a, a really like way out person. Like she wasn't really like out there and really, you know, talked a lot and stuff like that, but she just let her beauty shine. Very lightly, just kind of graze the surface of your hair with this comb and I feel like it just makes the waves this really beautiful texture. So whenever I see the waves start to forming, you'll see my hand kind of follow it and I'll kind of jam it in there a little bit just to kind of define the crease. And so that hairspray is just kind of gonna keep it together a little bit. And then I'm gonna lightly comb over your waves and it's gonna kind of smooth them out just a little bit. So I'm just pushing the bobby pin all the way into the teasing so that it disappears and you can't see it anymore. So what I wanna do is I definitely want some volume here around your forehead, and I'm going to just kind of pull it up a little bit to the desired height. So my very last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little pomade from the tips of my finger, and I'm just gonna clean up your hairline so that it looks nice. And I'm gonna turn you around and show you. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. This is me, oh my god. Like, I feel like you look like this is a like, princess. This is how like, I want to look when I die. Oh. My funeral. Well, don't die. <laughs> but, yes. No, but like, I look, oh my god. I look so beautiful. Oh my god, I feel so beautiful. And it didn't hurt at all, because like these styles look like they hurt. But <laughs> it, it didn't hurt at all. <laughs>